Once the microchip is programmed and the battery inserted, the circuit board can be encapsulated in epoxy to protect the circuitry from moisture and impact damage and to secure the battery from tampering. The encapsulation process is another three-step process. Initially, a thin layer of epoxy is poured and cured for the back panel of the timer, which strengthens the back surface and keeps the battery more securely encased. And it looks like that. It can be clear or colored. And this thin layer must take 24 hours before the next step. The next step, which we're looking at here, is to place the circuit board on the thin back layer with the switch facing up, and the circuit board gets covered with clear epoxy, just thick enough to cover the surface of the circuit board, and that takes 24 hours again. And the final step is to remove the two minute turtles from the mold and carefully pour a final third layer on the surface. And that third layer must reach the edges of the timer but not cover the switch. It is then another 24 hours to cure. And when that third layer is cured, any sharpness on the top edge that's there is removed with a brief sanding to make it smooth to the touch.